Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a Divine Feminine reading for the collective. So let me call on my spirit guides, my higher self, to guide and protect me in this reading. This reading is for the Divine Feminines all around the world. So please um, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. So let's get started. This is for the Divine Feminine. What's going on with the Divine Feminine? Wow, we have the Six of Cups showing with the Sun card. Very strong energies. Seven of Coins. The Page of Wands. And the World card, Major Arcana. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's throw some more cards down here. Mm-hmm. All right. Wow, we got a lot of major arcanas. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six major arcanas here showing. So what we have here is um, Divine Feminine. It, it's a sense of um, looking into your past. Uh, perhaps you walked away from something. Perhaps you walked away from a soulmate, okay? Um, what we have here is someone walking away to see the light, to see to see more of an inspiration, okay? Um, maybe you're actually leaving something behind and walking towards this, um, this union, okay? Divine Feminine, because you desire the sun here. And I feel like there is a completion. So you could definitely be, okay, now walking away from the past. To it's, it's like you see the sun. You see how this man is walking into the sunlight. You're walking into to the sun. There's a completion here, okay? Yeah, you made a decision to walk away from a partnership, from the past, from dwelling on the past, from codependency natures, okay? So the will of fortune brings change here. So there's all about change that's happening and you desire change, but it's working in your favor, especially with the sun card. Now we have the ace of wands here, which could be a new love, a new romance coming in. Okay. Um, a new love, new romance, a new passionate beginning within a, a relationship. I feel like this is someone new. I feel like you're definitely leaving someone you had to, you made the decision to walk away. It wasn't going anywhere. Um, and with that, you left a lot of dark energies behind. So you walked into the sunlight, okay? You walked into a bliss, you know, of um, this fiery energy, this masculine energy. And it happened through the divine. It's like you followed through the steps. Um, so... You know how they say it's worth waiting for? Well, it is. It's starting to pay off for you, Divine Feminine, okay? Because you made these wise decisions as the Emperor right here. Um, you know, you could be an Aries, an Aries, but I'm seeing that the Aries, um, the Emperor, is about making bold decisions, especially with the Knight of, I mean, with the King of, not, no, the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Knight of Swords here. Um, it's like you made that bold decision. And you, you had your focus and your ability to leave the past behind you because it wasn't working out, okay? And now you're stepping into this new beginning, into this new change of life. But it's all about an, a, a journey, a, a, a new adventure, a passionate new journey and adventure. It's like you waited for this, okay? Um... You've been you've been looking forward to it. Um, you you've you've saved you saved your. Um, it's like you saved your abundance. Your um, your it's like you put a lot of effort into it. Okay, a lot of groundedness, a lot of focusness, especially with the Knight of Swords here, to really find that new passionate desire that you deserve, Divine Feminine. And not only that, but you invested your time. All the effort that you've put into it is starting to pay off because of these bold decisions that you have made, Divine Feminine, okay? 
So this new journey is coming on. It's very fiery. It's very passionate. It brings a lot of emotions up, especially with the moon card here. Um, and it's not about fear, but it's about taking action in it. It's about what are you going to find in this, okay? Because there's a lot of mystery within this new beginning. But it's good karma I see on your side, okay, Divine Feminine? Um, I also see the World Card here. The World Card is a completion. So there's some sort of completion that you ended. Um, and I feel that has a lot to do with this past relationship. Um that wasn't leading to nowhere. There was blocks. Um, you know, you weren't able to see the sun through this old relationship that you're disconnecting from. You learned a lesson. There's a completion here. And now you're taking control, taking action. You're moving forward. Okay. Um, this is success. This is victory. You know, and now you're waiting for the results to come out. Okay. You're waiting for your ships to return here. So what we have here is Divine Feminine. You're leaving your past behind. There was nothing, you know, there was nothing here. You thought there was. You were blind. Love is blind is what they say, okay? But you weren't seeing the full picture. And I feel like you had got that um, inspiration by someone coming into your life, okay? And it couldn't have been, it could have been someone or it could have been just an epiphany. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. That, that no, that, that higher intelligence pushing you on further. That, like there's something more out there for you, you know. And you made that decision to let go of the past, okay. And it's like you're stepping into the, that, that fear of not knowing what's happening, but it's sending sparks of inspiration in in you, okay? And it's uh, pushing you further. So with that being said, I feel Divine Feminine that you're waiting for your ships to return because you've made a bold decision to move forward, okay? There is a king in here. We have the king of uh, coins. Someone in earthly uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. This Divine Masculine here has everything Okay, material-wise, very grounded energy, um, very supportive energy as well for you, Divine Feminine. Someone who give, will give you anything um, that you desire. Someone who will take care of you, okay? Someone who's actually uh, sending out love signals as well as romantic nights. Um, you know, this is about uh, sharing love with one another emotionally. We have a divine masculine here, especially under the uh, the sun and the ace of wands here. This divine masculine is coming in, and it is worth waiting for because this divine masculine has something for you, okay? He has something extravagant for you, something that is just going to be um, what you've been looking for, divine feminine, okay? Um, so... We have the Four of Wands in reverse here. And the Four of Wands uh, signifies a time of celebration, a time for uh, gathering, a time for union. <clears throat> now, with the Four of Swords, I mean, with the Four of Wands in reverse, There seems like something that has came that has stopped this um, this union with you and your divine partner, this new one, okay? This new love that's coming in. Something stepped in the way here. And let's see what that is. Um, I feel like it's just a short delay. There will be... Um, I feel like this divine masculine is going to come in unexpectedly. Okay, not at your on under your circumstances, not at the time that you think they're going to come in. It's just going to be, you know, just um, unexpected, an unexpected visit here, um, or an unexpected encounter with this divine masculine. Okay, um, let's pull one more card for this. Yes. Um, I feel like this Divine Masculine is going through, um, could be going through a divorce or a breakup, okay, of some sort. And now he's moving away from this heavy burden and he's seeing it. He's calling judgment on it, okay. So 
he was so this divine masculine here that you will be um, presented to is going through some kind of karmic situation, but I feel like this divine masculine is definitely um, getting out of this karmic situation. He's moving away from it. Okay. So we have the Seven of Cups here. Uh, the Seven of Cups is many opportunities. I feel like there's many opportunities for you, Divine Feminine, and um, it has you kind of in an, in an uproar, okay, with your emotions, especially with this full moon going on. Yeah, it's like you need to center yourself here. Um, it's calling on you to take things in moderation with temperance. And there's also uh, some injustice as well. Okay, um, um, there could have been a, a third party situation with this Divine Masculine here. Um, and the truth wasn't spoken or it had been spoken. And that's why the delay, that's why there was a delay with you guys coming into Union. Um, but now I feel like justice is being served and if you guys take things slowly, I feel like it will definitely work out in your favor. Um, so we have the tower and this indicates that karmic situation coming to an end here and it, being successful with that as well. So there is something about the five of cups. This is uh, mourning for loss here. Um, this could be you, Divine Feminine, because of this Divine Masculine that was <clears throat> with somebody and maybe they weren't very truthful to it, okay? Um, like I said, uh, there is hope here. We have the Virgo energy with the moon. I feel like the moon is bringing up emotions, and that's why we had the moon card here. So it's really bringing up these emotions of love with inside you, okay? So, um, not only with inside you emotionally, um, for this Divine Masculine, and I really feel, Divine Feminine, that this is a change for the better, okay? Uh, the Divine Masculine that I'm channeling here, this King of Coins, is going through, um, a breakup, okay? Um, a karmic situation, and he's moving away from that. Uh, I feel like he told you somewhat um, a little bit about it, but not as much as you would like, okay? Um, just the fact that he didn't want to scare you away, or, you know, um, he's just not opening up to you as much as you wanted him to, okay? And let me pull one more clarifier for that. Yeah, if he hasn't, I feel like he definitely will with the Four of Swords in Reverse card, okay? Then we have the Three of Cups, which indicates, you know, union, but it's also indicating um, the truth behind the matter of a karmic situation here, of how, how injustice um, and, you know, maybe the whole story will come um, to fruition, okay? And then we have Temperance, which is, you know, blending two cups together to make one, okay? And this is about finding a solution to the problem as well. So, let's pull some energies here for you, Divine Feminine. What's going on with the Divine Feminine this week? Wow. Can't use all those. Spirit guides, guardian angels, divine feminine reading. This is for February the 21st through the 28th. We have calling in your soulmate here. So, you know, with you leaving your past, you know, um, this with you leaving a karmic situation... Also, the Divine Masculine is leaving a karmic situation as well. I feel like you guys are definitely calling each other in here with calling in your soulmate. We have you guys ascending to a higher um, relationship, engagement. Some of you guys will be engaged as well, but this is 
calling in your soulmate and really ascending to that higher knowledge and in your relationship as well of commitment for one another. And we also have true love here. So there is a chance of you guys coming together and working things out, okay? And, you know, really sitting down and, um, you know, really filling this between one another as well. Um, that's beautiful. Let's see the blocks here, Divine Feminine, that you're having. What are the blocks, Spirit Guides, for the Divine Feminine? Let's see the blocks. So it's like moving on. Yeah, I, I feel like you, with you thinking in your past about a lover, possibly you thought uh, your past lover was your soulmate and things didn't work out as you expected. And, you know, you got to move on. Um, and, you know, this is challenging because I feel like with this new lover coming in, wanting to take you out, wanting to uh, invite you to dinner, romantic nights. This would be a challenge for you, okay? But it's also a challenge for you to move on from something that didn't satisfy you, Divine Feminine, okay? But there's also someone that wants to grow with you with that Ace of Wands. It's definitely growing into love here, okay? Um, and that's a blog um, for you. But it's about giving and receiving as well. So, you know, Divine Feminine, you're moving on from someone. We have two sixes here and an eight. So you're definitely making wise decisions to move on from a situation that no longer serves you. You're moving towards love here, okay? And you're moving towards a place of giving and receiving. So just be grateful for the things that you have right now to let go of your past. Let's see what you're healing from, Divine Feminine, this week. What are you healing from, Divine Feminine? Spirit guides, guardian angels. Okay, that cards. The inner child. Okay, so this is that inner child work. A lot of readers are talking about this inner child. And um, so there's an action step here I'd like for you guys to take. It says, find a photo of you as a child between the ages of three and eight. Look at the picture. What do you see in your eyes? What is the expression on your face and this little child if this little child had a voice what would he or she say to you take some paper and using your non-dominant hand write dear your name I feel give the little you a chance to express itself then write a loving response from from the adult you ask the child in you what she needs to feel better then follow the child's recommendation your inner child is urging you to lighten up a little get out of your comfort zone and have fun all right you guys thank you so much please like share subscribe to my channel and thank you so very much for tuning in.